In the next tutorial, I'll present you how to work with one of the most effective modeling tools to build scenes in seconds using Unreal Engine 5. This content is part of a course that I am preparing right now. Subscribe to Woolen.com to get a special release discount on release week. Also, don't forget to check our courses about MetaHumans, how to start your career in video games, and pixel art. And to reward my efforts to bring you this content, don't forget to give a like, subscribe, and a comment to our channel. Let's get started. The next tool I'm going to introduce you is really, really amazing. And this allows to prototype uh, levels very fast, which is the cube grid. I'm going to select one element on the surface. And as you can see, this element is one meter by one meter, or you can check it here. You can change the value of this current block. At this moment, I'm not interested to change it. Now, now that I have the surface created, I can start pulling the structure from this surface. In the actions, you have several, which are the pull, the push, the side back, slide forward, corner mode, and flip. I'm going to present you the ones that I use the most. The first one is the pull. For the pull, you can see that you have a hotkey as well, which is the E. I'm going to pull here. And once I created the first cube, I can literally continue clicking E, and you will see that the rest, one another cube is added to the previous one in the structure. Now, let's say that from this point, I want to extend not to one side. Then what I have to do is to select the side and click again E, or click where it says pull. This is very, very amazing. Now, let's say that uh, for any reason, I want to reduce one of these cubes. Well, in that case, instead of using E, I am I'm going to click Q, which is the same as push. So E will pull more cubes and Q will push the cubes. Now, let's say that this is part of a bridge and this bridge is broken. So I wish to leave two spaces and then continue the bridge on the other side. Well, to doing that, I'm just going to select the face that I want to continue and I'll use Shift E first. So let me click Shift E one, two. And now from this point on, I'm going to click E. There you go. And now you can see that the structure continues to the other side, which if you ask me, I think is really, really amazing. Of course, if I want to expand this to the top, then I will go with E and continue the process. What we did about uh, moving from one point to the next one without creating a cube in the middle is what we call, remember that we use the Shift and E? Well, what we use is this option, which is a slide back. But you can also have an option of a slide forward. Let's say that I want from this point, say, um, you know, I needed to add an extra cube here. So then what you have to do is shift Q and you see that you're moving in the other direction. And then once you are here, E to complete the cube that you miss for one reason. This is a pretty cool tool. Believe me, guys, when you are trying to modeling and you're trying to create an environment really, really fast, I have to tell you that it's very enjoyable uh, to do this process. And now let's say that I want to do something here, like a base for the floor. Fantastic. And let me create another one, because if not, this structure will fall like this. So look at this, guys. This is pretty awesome. I really recommend you. I really invite you to play with this tool because the possibilities are incredible. Another amazing thing you can do with the cube grid is the next. Let me say that you start a cube like this one and you decided that you want to pull this, 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 this. And OK, this is going very well. And now let's say that you pull this as well a couple of times. But then you reflect and say, you know, at this moment, I want this space to be half of this uh, of this structure that we have here. So to make these changes, the only thing you have to do 
is to change the size of the block. So let's put that this block is going to be instead of 100, which is one meter, let me put it in half a meter. Now you are starting to create a structure that where you can uh, where you can continue pulling, but from a cube that it is lots more smaller. So let's say that I want to pull from here. So E, select E, E, and there you go. We have something that is a lot smaller. And if I want now, let's say that this is just this part of the bridge, and then uh, it continues, uh, you know, the original size, then the only thing I have to do is select this one again and saying, let's move this one to 100. And now from here, E, and then we can continue. Let me complete this from the bottom. E, 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 fantastic. And here you have another structure. As I'm letting you know, guys, you can play with this. And I recommend you, in fact, to play with this to create fantastic, basic, shapes for what is going to be your level using these tools are really really enjoyable i have to tell you from one side but on the other side they're really easy to build with <laughs>